All right then, gang. So, so far, when we've been retrieving our documents from the Firestore, we've been doing so without any kind of discrimination, meaning we've just grabbed every single document inside the cafe's collection. But sometimes when you're querying one of your collections, you might not always want to retrieve all of the documents. You might want to retrieve some of the documents based on the value of a certain field. For example, I might want to retrieve all of my documents which have a city equal to Manchester or London and not just retrieve them all. So how do we perform these kind of queries? Well, it's pretty simple to do and I'm gonna show you that now. Over here, where we have our db.collection.get, this is where we're gonna perform that query. Now, when we're saying db.collection cafes, we're getting a reference to all of the documents in the cafes collection. Then we're getting them, right? Now, we don't want this to be our final reference. Instead, we want to look inside this collection, cafes, and then get only some of the documents. So the way we do that and perform this query is by tacking on a method called where between the collection and dot get. So right here, this extra step is where we say what we want to check for. We only want to bring back some of the documents. For example, we want to get documents in the cafe's collection where the city is equal to Manchester, right? So this thing right here takes three parameters, city equal to Manchester. So the first parameter is the value or the field rather that we want to check. So we want to check the city. The second parameter is going to be how we want to evaluate this. We want it to be equal to, so double equals. And the third parameter is what value we want it to equal. We want it to equal Manchester. So right now we're saying, okay, get a reference to any document in the cafes collection where the city is equal to Manchester and then get those. Don't get the rest just get those. So let's save this now and see if it works. And now we can see only these two records are returned where the city is Manchester. Awesome. So let's change this to London and see if that works as well. And by the way, when I added in the locations, I added them all lowercase just so as not to confuse things because it is case sensitive. So now we can see these two, Mario's Mocha and Wario's Wonderland. Now we can pass through other things here as well. We could say something like, greater than L. So let's, or rather, let's do greater than N. Save that. And now we only get New York and somewhere spooker. So anything that comes before N in the alphabet, we don't get anymore because we said we want to grab anything where the city is greater than N. That's what this means. If we say less than N, then we'll get the other things before N in the alphabet, which is these. So that's pretty awesome, right? And this comes in handy as well when you're working with actual numbers. So you could say you want to retrieve every user whose age is less than 50 or 40 or something like that. And that's going to get those users. So this is a pretty simple way here to perform these additional queries when we're trying to retrieve our data.